In the last lecture, you learned how to promote your QR answers. And in this lecture, we're going to cover step six in our process, which is really how to track QR traffic and return on investment in Google Analytics. The first part to really make this possible is that you need to have Google Analytics set up on your website. I've covered this in other lessons, but just a reminder that make sure you've got it installed. And also, I would advise you to set up a goal tracking. For example, if you want to increase email subscribers, setting up a goal uh, to really track that is important to, to measure how QR is really contributing to that goal. Now, inside Google Analytics, let me show you where you can really look to find this information and see how QR is performing as a marketing channel. Log into Google Analytics and in the sidebar here, you want to come down to the acquisition section then you can scroll down and you'll see one of the tabs here called social. You can open that up and then you can click on network referrals here. So we're just looking at our traffic sources, particularly at the social media traffic sources that I have. So you can see here that Cura is the top one. And if I click through to this, what I can actually see here are the pages on my website that get the most amount of traffic from Qura. And in my case, I'm really just sending all of the traffic to one page for the moment, although I do want to build that out. And you can see here that that is uh, contributing quite a number of sessions. And this is uh, over the last 30 days. Now you can extend this out to maybe after a while to see a three month period, etc. Um, but this is by default on a 30 month or 30 day time period as well as just seeing the traffic figures. If you've got your goals set up, what you might want to check is how many of those visitors are actually signing up for my email list. This is the goal that I've set up for this website. So I can click here to look at conversions and then I can see that those visits have resulted in 37 uh, email signups, which is the goal that I've set up. So I am pretty happy that that is performing well. It's about 10% of people signing up. Now, as well as checking your analytics in the traffic and the conversions in Google Analytics, Quora has some statistics as well. So let me show you where you can find these. Inside your Quora profile, you can click on your name here. This opens up the account uh, details and I can come down to stats here. And what I see here is again filtered for the last 30 days, really the questions that I've answered and they're sorted here by the number of views. So I can see that this question here that I've answered is getting the most amount of views and more than likely this is the question that's driving the majority of the traffic to my website for that particular topic. So that's it. It's very easy to track how Cura is performing as a marketing channel, you can do it here. Analytics just come down to acquisition, social and uh, network referrals. And inside Cure itself, you can really identify your best performing questions very easily. So that was step six. And I'll see you in the next lecture for our final step.